Hey guys, it's Miss Jamie here. Were you able to spot me inside all those animals? That was fun. I thought I would do story time in bed this week since all of our stories and songs are about bedtime. Would you like to learn some signs about bedtime? We'll start with bed. That's the easiest one, right? We take our hand, lay it flat, and put it up against our cheek and turn like this. That's right. We take our palm on our cheek and bend our head. Ah, oh, bed. If I'm going to bed, that probably means it's time to sleep, right? So to say the sign for sleep, you take your hand and put it at the top of your head and you are going to bring it down and make your fingers and your thumb touch at your chin. And when you are bringing your hands down, close your eyes at the same time. See, my eyes are open now, but when I bring it down, my eyes are closed. So this is the sign for sleep. Now, right before bed, there's two things that I need to do before bed, and I bet you do them too. Can you think of them? What might they be? That's right. Take a bath. And the sign for bath is really easy. We take our hands and make them into fists, and we rub them on our chest like we're washing ourselves. right? So wash, bath. And there's something else I like to do right before bed. That's right. Brush your teeth. We gotta have clean teeth before bed. And this one's super simple too. So we take our pointer finger and we turn it like this and we move it back and forth like we're brushing our teeth. Can you do that? Good job. Now right before bed, I like to sing songs and read books. So this is the sign for book. Can you open up your hands? You put them flat together like this and you open it up. That's right. And this means read. So we read the book, okay? Now, after mom and dad read a book to me, or you, we have to turn out the lights, yikes! So this is the sign for light, right? Like a light is shining down on us, and when it's time to turn it off, we close our hands. When it's time to turn it on, we open them up. Off, on, off, on. I'm gonna keep them on for right now while we read. Now, when the lights are off, I like to look outside the window and there's things I can see up in the sky. What are some things that you can see in the sky? That's right, the moon. I like this sign. So you make a C with your hand and you put it up against your cheek and you lift it up into the air because that's where we see the moon. So the moon, moon, good job. What else is in the sky? That's right, stars. And I like this one. We take our pointers and we move them like this for stars. Stars. Good job. So we learned the sign for bed, sleep, light on, light off, light on, light off, brush our teeth, wash ourselves, moon, and stars. Good job. Practicing your signs before bed is a great time to practice because you have a routine going. So make sure you practice these signs every night. When you go to bed tonight, see if you can remember what we learned this morning. So when you come to story time, you know Mr. Alligator likes to snap those monkeys up. But really, he just likes to play with them. He doesn't really hurt them. And when we come home at night, he likes to get in bed and play with his monkey friends and sing one of his favorite songs, the brush your teeth song. So will you help me sing with Mr. Alligator and the monkeys? You will? Perfect. And you know the sign for brushing your teeth. Do you remember we take our finger and we go like this, back and forth? So perfect. We're gonna brush Mr. Alligator's teeth and look at these teeth. Aren't they sharp? Ooh, they're nice and white and they're nice and sharp and they stay nice and sharp and they stay nice and white because we brush his teeth every morning when we get up and every night when we go to bed and sometimes in between. So we're going to sing the brush your teeth song. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to one and you want to have a little fun. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to two, and you want to find something to do, you brush your teeth. 
you brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to three, and your mind starts humming. Twiddle dee dee, you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to four, and you think you hear a knock on your door. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to five, and you just can't wait to come alive. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When my son was little, one of my favorite songs to sing with him was Skin a Rink. It's all about how much I love him. Do you know the sign for I love you? It's really simple, and I actually learned something new tonight about the sign for I love you. So to say I love you in sign language, you simply do this. Can you have your hands like this? And we're gonna fold down these two fingers, right? And what I learned tonight was amazing. This sign represents the letter I for I, L for love, and U, Y, I love you. So all together, it goes like this, I love you. And my son and I still say this to each other to this very day as well. So hopefully you like the sign, and when you see your mom and dad later, or your brother and sister, or grandma and grandpa, you can say, I love you, I love you. So for this song, we're not gonna use our sign for I love you, we're gonna say I love you, okay? It's a really simple song, and I think you're gonna like it. Ready? Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you, I really love you. I love you, see you next time. I love you too. Boop boop be doo. Mwah. I love you guys. Are you guys ready to read a book? I am. And tonight's book is called Tuck Me In by Dean Hakone and Sherry Sharschmidt. And it's published by Candlewick Press. So thank you very much for letting us read this book tonight. It's a special one for bedtime. And I've made a little felt board. So I'm using my headboard actually tonight to keep the felt pieces on. So hopefully they stay. And what do you see on the headboard so far? What's in the night sky? That's right, stars. You know the sign for stars, right? So can you help me count these stars up here? We have one, two, three, four, five. And look, you have five fingers right here. And you have five fingers right here. And five plus five equals 10 fingers. Can you take those 10 fingers and can you dance them up high like this? Can you dance them up, stretch your arms, dance them up, dance them up, good job. Can you dance them down low? Good job. Can you dance them to the side? And can you dance them all around? Can you dance them on your shoulders? Where's your shoulders? Dance them on your head? Dance them on your tummy. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Now lay them down to bed. Do you remember the sign for bed? That's right, bed. Good job. So we're gonna read Tuck Me In. Are you ready? Let's do it. I like these end pages a lot because it's blue like the night sky and we've got lots of different animals if you can see we've got a peacock and we have an elephant and an alligator and a moose and a pig and a zebra Ooh, and a little hedgehog down here and I think all of these animals are ready for bed let's see 
Oh, look. What do we see in the sky? Stars. Do you remember what your sign for stars is? Can you show me? Good job. Very good. You guys are fast learners. Well, it's time for bed. And who needs to be tucked in? It looks like some animals are ready. Let's see who's first. I do. I do. And what do we see here? What animal says, <laughs> what is that? Is that a pig? Can you make a pig sound? <laughs> Good job. Well, it looks like pig is ready for bed. So we're going to put a blanket on. Ooh, and look at that pretty pink blanket. And look, I have a little pig right here for you. So we're going to take our little pig and we're going to put him in our fake little bed. Earlier I was playing with him and he didn't want to stay in bed very long. Well, who else might need to go to bed tonight? Who else might need to be tucked in? Let's see. Oh, look at this animal. He's black and white. I love this animal. This is one of my favorites. It's a zebra. Baby zebra is ready for bed. So that means we've got to tuck him in. You ready to put a blanket on him? Oh, and I love the zebra's blanket. Oh, I love it. Good night, baby zebra. And look, I've made a zebra right here for you. So we're going to take our little zebra and we're going to tuck him into bed next to the pig. Let's see who's next. Let's see if you can guess which animal this is. Let's see. What is that? That's right, it's a baby elephant. And he says, I do, I do, I need to be tucked into bed. So let's put a blanket on him. I like this blanket too. They all have such cute blankets. Oh, I like that, it's nice and orange. It matches his pillow. Good night, baby elephant, good night. And look, I've made this little elephant right here for us to tuck into bed. So we'll put him into bed next to the pig on the other side of the pig. Well, I forgot to read the next line on the page. Who else needs to be tucked into bed? I hope you didn't see. Let's see. Who is it? It's the alligator. It's baby alligator. I do. I do. I need to be tucked into bed. He says, I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready to see what his blanket looks like? Let's put it on him. Oh, it's perfect for him, right? Look at that alligator. Good night, baby alligator. Good night. Let's see. I've got my little alligator here with his big sharp white teeth, right? Just like our stuffed animal. And we're gonna put him on the other side of the zebra. Okay, so we have our baby alligator. Well, who else might need to be tucked into bed? Are you ready to see? I do, I do, said baby moose. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready for bed, I need to be tucked in. And let's see what color is his blanket. Ooh, I like the design on that blanket. That is very cool. Good night, baby moose. And let's see, I've got my moose right here and he's got some big horns. I'm gonna have to hold him with two hands so you can see his horns. And we'll put him on the other side of the elephant. All right. Well, good night, baby moose. Who else might want to be tucked in? Who's ready for bed? I do, I do. Now, do you know this animal? This is a hedgehog. They're kind of prickly, right? And so he's ready to go to bed, but we have to be careful when we put the blanket on him because we don't want to accidentally hurt ourselves. So we're going to put this blanket on nice and gentle. And oh, I really like that blanket too. Oh, what a cute blanket. Good night, baby hedgehog. Good night. Oh, oh. I forgot to show you. I've got a hedgehog right here. He's got a little hedgehog, but he doesn't hurt me. Luckily, he's not prickly. We're good. Well, who else needs to be tucked into bed? Let's see. We don't have very many animals left. Oh, this is one of my favorites. It's a peacock. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love these feathers. Let's see. I'm ready to put a blanket on. Oh, beautiful blanket. It matches perfectly. Good night, baby peacock. Good night. Well, let me show you. I have made a peacock right here. Do you see? This is my little peacock. But he's missing something. What is he missing up here? 
that's right, feathers. Well, I have some feathers, but I thought you could help me count them because he has a lot of feathers. So let's count, ready? We have one, two, oh wow, three, oops, four, oh wow, he's got a lot, five, Six. Can we fit another one? Let's see. Can we fit another one? Seven. Look at how beautiful that peacock is. Oh, I love all these colors on his feather. Can you say good night, Mr. Peacock? Good night, Peacock. Good night. Oh, he's sitting there with hedgehog. Wow. Does anyone else need to be tucked in? Do you need to be tucked in? Good night, you. The end. And the end pages are the same. I love it. I hope you liked that book. And I hope you read many more great books before bedtime. And you remember our signs. And you remember our songs. I hope you have a great week. I love you.